G'day nuclear enthusiasts and welcome back to episode 25 here in our journey through season 3 in nuclear ease. I did just notice visually these two pumps for loop 3 and loop 2 are technically on visually. Uh, let's turn them on there and then maybe turn them back off again. I'm not too sure why that's happening. Might be just a, a visual thing in the game's coding. Anyways, today we'll be continuing on with the shutdown and repairs of our facility to try and get up and running with a new fuel core. I don't think it's needed to be swapped out, but I'd rather swap over to a new fuel than have to worry about it running out of juice later on down the line. So I'd rather just go ahead and just maybe even buy one extra spare fuel for like close to 60k. That will eventually get delivered to us around 1800 hours this afternoon, less than 10 hours away, where we'll get those replacement resistors to hopefully finish off rebuilding up the resistor bank 03, which I did forget to buy extra resistors to fill that out. But we do have the two spares that we start the game with in there. And last episode, we unexpectedly had to shut down due to poisoning out of the reactor. As you can see, they are extremely, extremely high. At the moment, I'm just waiting for this to fill up just a little bit more. And as that does that, I exited out and loaded the game back up to see if what I was saying before. No, I must have manually upgraded these all the way. Um, where I thought I only did it once, closed the game down, reloaded the save, and it freely gave us the whole maximum upgrade of it. So that may not be correct. That's why I just quickly reloaded and reopened and stuff like that. Uh, let's go turn that condenser pump off. We'll need to run downstairs, and I will definitely want to... Yeah, probably about now. I'll go downstairs and get that... Uh, boric acid filter pump cleaning going on and get that ion cleaner or the ion column itself uh, more effective at cleaning any boric acid out of our plants so that's one less thing we'll have to worry about one nope that one there and that one there thank you very much need to go over here I wonder if doing the purge valve may have helped in our reactor if we open this kept these open because obviously this the mixture of sodium hydroxide and boric acid uh that one there sorry uh does create heat in itself um which may have actually helped us out but i don't know it may not have been worked in the game code or anything like that but we'll get this on going uh just before i actually get uh, i'll get another maintenance analysis now that everything's shut down and let's speed the time up and let's get that on going. That should be good. Stairs are dangerous. Let's not die today. Uh, we'll need to go and shut down. Move out of the way, AO. I might as well go and shut down the two transformers. While I'm over here. Oh, sorry. Now the three transformers since we just had a newly installed O3 transformer in an episode or two ago. So I'll turn that off. That one, and that one, we'll have to remember to turn them back on again. We'll run upstairs, turn the resistors off from upstairs manually, and we'll all add everything together for AO to fix once he's finished doing that updated maintenance report he's doing at the moment. Now, whoa, that was a quick jump. What have we got? How far? 36% he's on that one. And while everything is shut down, it would be a good idea to hopefully level out any upgraded stuff that we've got. So we've got that one all the way up. 95. I don't remember. Oh, yes, I do. Because I said I was doing it twice and I ended up doing it three times. Um, I don't think we're going to have... Oh, that could have been a mistake. Hopefully the maintenance isn't too much. And we'll try and get that done. Even, even might be worth actually upgrading everything that I possibly can. I can get that two more times and leave us with like absolutely no money. But overall, I reckon I might even go ahead 
and take a loan of what's needed, even with the maximum installments of four. I've never actually taken a loan before. Uh, maximum of two million, or is that 20 million? No, that's two million. Six zeros with a two at the front. So that should be more than enough for actually getting any repairs up and running that we needed. And maybe even taking a little bit on top of that to balance it out. So I get the last one on that. Uh, we need to get nothing on this one. That's 840k. I am not getting a maximum loan to upgrade this like once or twice on the power when we have three of them total. Just doesn't make sense. The condenser, I'm not going to improve the dissipation for the fact that I can always just add more water to it to actually get more effectiveness and cooling out of it. Here we go. So what do we got? Uh, pump cooling core circuit. So let's turn that one off. Let's slow the time down for now. That is off. Those are off. These are all good. That's closed. That's open. These are on. Completely forgot about them. The reactor We're at 100%. Just for OCD sake. These are all closed. That's off. Uh, we need to actually New turn this into the shutdown no. mode. I always New forget to do that. Shutdown mode. That's all good. That's all done. Uh, that's all been removed. So we should be able to just pop the core out as we speak. Let's see if we can do that now. There it goes. See that little animation? Oh, bit of green glow. That's uh, not exactly supposed to happen. I guess that was... It really kind of wasting out. Let's put it in waste storage one and we'll run on over here very quickly. And we'll get this crane to get rid of that yucky dirty core. Get rid of that dirty fuel. Goodbye. Excellent. I'll wait for that crane to Start going over there, and I'll see if I can get the cameras on to fuel room four. That one. Here we go. Up it comes. I just caught it in time. And boop. And gone. And then I can pay AO to remove that. That light should turn red once that crane comes back. Oh, there it goes. So now, once the crane resets itself, I can tell it to grab the new fuel right next to where we put the old one. And he'll go and grab that and plonk that in. So we'll come on over here. Transport fuel block one. That's available. Indicated by that green light just there. Excellent. We'll run on over here. Over he goes. I like watching this. You see the little grappling arms come out. It's really cool. Make sure my little cursor's not in the way. There it goes. And yoink. Cool. And we do have another one on the way. Just grab it, double check. Yep, one extra fuel. Here comes the crane. And I wouldn't worry about that um, hazardous material just here, as we're just about to do many repairs very shortly. I just want to get that done. Nice and easy. So that's all good and done. That's at 100%. We'll need to go turn that off. Uh, that's all good. That's all good. We can probably start filling up the external vessel very shortly. Uh, I'm going to run downstairs and I'm going to go ahead and turn off any other pumps. Uh, we did check anything there. As we're about to do a small time skip. And hopefully all the chemicals will have gone out of the core, unlike it is realistically. After 64 hours, you need to wait at least three days for all that xenon and stuff to dissipate from your core completely. Uh, where in the game, as soon as you do repairs and it does that little time skip, uh, at least last few episodes, I think it was like episode 15 or 16, where we shut down last time and found out that we did a two hour repair. And when we came back, everything was all clean and out of our system, which kind of sped things up quite a bit. Might be an idea to check the fuel on our generator upstairs very quickly. Yep, need just a little bit, but that's all right. We're still waiting for 
the ion cleaning pumps uh, pump itself to power down further. Grab that, and then I'll top this up because we do have that objective to not use any emergency batteries throughout the day. So I don't want my generator to shut down. So avoid emergency stops throughout the day and do not, uh, that's the one here, emergency batteries. So our batteries are on charge specifically so we can't do anything about that. And once we shut down, damn it, wrong button. Once we shut down that internal generator, we'll be able to fix it up. Once we start getting up and operational, let's go to the correct floor. Thank you very much. Everything's off. Everything's good to grow as far as I'm aware. Uh, let's go in here. That one, core, cooling circuit, condenser, uh, the freight pump for the external. Uh, filling the tanks and stuff, cooling circuit, generator turbine, that one, that one, the electric turbine, the two that we did use since loop 01 or loop A, technically, we never actually brought online at the present moment, so. And then the electrogen group is our internal generator above our heads right now, which is on. Pressurizer, resistor, resistor, all of that. So we got 326,000. So if we take just an even amount of 500K, $500K, calculate total, we gotta pay like a mil, but I wonder if we will be able to bring it back. I might even remove that and we'll only get 400,000. 400,000, four weeks, 880, that's a lot less, and that leaves us with at least a little bit of money, and we can pay off the, pool, the, the full loan early. Absolutely fantastic. I hate paying interest, and that's why I've never taken a loan until now. So at least that should be as good as gravy, and I'll just do a double check to make sure everything's off, 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 because if anything's on in the background, and we do a time skip, then obviously it will have wear and tear on it. These are all good, that's all shut down, the core's all out. I can probably just, oh, that's all right. I'll just need to, I'll just leave it as now, as the fuel's not doing anything where it is. And let's see, it's 10.32 now. Let's see what happens and how much time skips. Day six, 10.30. Okay, it's still day six, 10.30, it's 11.45. I'm waiting for it to pop up in the top left. There it is. So what, we skipped like an hour and 15 minutes for all of that to be repaired? Um, yeah, that was even less than last time. And there's our internal generator upstairs, which we should have plenty of fuel. We didn't even really need to top it up. Um, yeah, it is what it is, I guess. Uh, let's see if we can get our pressurizer on now, as I would really like to start outputting power after 12 o'clock. So I'll request to output power to the grid very soon. So let's see if we can get that on to load. Our internal vessel is perfectly fine. That should start filling up. We've got plenty of room to be taken out of our core tank that'll be filling into the external cool vessel. The visual water we just see right there, so that'll be as good as gravy. And since we've got internal vessel water, I'm gonna put this into nominal for now, as it's not gonna do much. And I'm just gonna pop that core in just like so, as it's not really gonna do much, as it is. So it's just one less step for me to actually do later. So I'll see over here, I've got nominal, I won't need to do anything more. I know I'm sweet. And then now's about the time. I might actually turn the pressurizer off for now. Um, actually, no, I'll leave it on because it's really easy to just turn this thing off and repair it to turn it back on again after it's repair. I might as well just keep that as is as I'm just waiting for the maintenance analysis to come back to us. Good. There's our order change to packing. It just passed midday. Absolutely excellent. So we've got those replacement resistors and we've got an extra sport, uh, a spare fuel on its way. 
and we shouldn't have any in our waste bins. Waste storage 01, no, because um, this maintenance analysis now, AO should pick up on it for the fact that we did that before we even put that in there. All our chemicals went boop, as we can just, we just caught the end of it there. I don't know why I didn't look any earlier, but um, yeah, 100%. Integrity 100% no chemicals. We've got pressure We have that ongoing for us. I don't want to turn the generator on automatic just yet Good good outer core vessel is full. Let's see if we can turn that off and we should be okay to Output power. I might actually wait until the next hour for the fact that this time when I bring up the reactor power and start doing all that, I want to do it slowly. So I'm going to keep the core or reactor in nominal for at least the first day's operation. And then once that happens, I'll bring it up to like 360 at the maximum temp very, very slowly as I think that also could have been a contributing factor to why all of these kicked out of whack and we got poisoned out of our reactor with the xenon um, and also on top of that the amount of repairs we did to get that audit done which we did get successfully completed thank you trophy it's annoying how i can't see it in my hand i have to like do that there we go so now it's back again it's like you could have it in your hand or I wouldn't mind like a tea room or a coffee room or something like that, like, like a break room. No bed or anything, but why not? Just something visually fun. And I'll slow the time down there. Final disposal. That cost 58 grand. I can just wait for that. That's fine. Pressurizer and the internal generator upstairs. That's fine. Absolutely fine there. I'm going to speed the time up just so I can request output power shortly after 12 o'clock um, and before I do that let me come on over here 100% not a bad starting value we have like zero hydroxide again okay so at least we saved that and now we can get the truck to come on back as I'm really not sure why this drops down maybe because we were just using it so much that would make much more sense we did use a lot of the filter pump at the end of the shutdown and while we're here uh, that's all good let's bring that online let's bring that online all right cool so now we need to start dosing the reactor let's bring this up and running um, which I may actually do in the next episode so make sure you like comment subscribe all that good jazz and stay sharp till next time as always see ya